Okay, according to the Patreon comments, I trolled a little bit in the last one, but maybe like not too hard. I was confused by the entire Leif Erikson thing and thinking that it was either Ilva or Helga at the end. But it, yeah, it was just him thinking it was Thorfinn since he's looking for him. And that makes way more sense, but at least I didn't fumble too hard, right, right guys? Welcome back to the channel though. My name is Jack the Bus, and I think we're in for a big one this time because at the end of the last one, Asklad's entire group is is getting jumped and they are in a very vulnerable position like one that they typically aren't in like yeah they risk a lot of things sometimes but usually they're the ones to put themselves in that position and with Thorkel trailing very closely behind it just feels like the stakes are really high gonna hop into this if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started where is this is he carrying a ghost oh i'm so sorry man that looks like an alternate timeline like Thorfinn. Wessex. Ew! Ew! Floki alert! Ah, now you're concerned. Yeah, well, I want to know the king's perspective on, on Thorkel. And Canute. Hmm. Like, he doesn't seem that concerned. Like, not even remotely. This is just how the king is. Oh, it's the first time I think I've seen him put the crown on. Hmm. Oh, and we're back. Canute looks absolutely horrified. Oh. Asko thinks he can, like, talk his way out of this or something? <laughs> Barbarian, bro. That's like a slur to them. A uh, safety, bro? What do you mean? I mean, actually, Canute technically hasn't really agreed to anything yet. I'd be very shocked if this resolves peacefully. Oh. True. Bjorn's very, uh, very intuitive. Oh, damn. Bro actually came with receipts. Uh, will he? Bro. I don't know if Kanu can even speak that loud, let alone know what to say. <laughs> Askeladd knows that Kanu isn't cut out for this, though. What's the play here? No, he doesn't. He expected him to be able to? Brother. That's why he has to intimidate them. Yes, dude. Sometimes you got to act like you want to fight to avoid one. There's more to Canute. Like, oh. oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Didn't stand out. Wow. So it wasn't that he prospered because of his strength. It was because he hid in the shadows. Ragnar is very protective of him, though. Oh, we're kind of caught in a tough place here, though. It's like Canute doesn't want to say anything. They have no leverage. The plan about, like, where they're taking Canute and everything? Oh, wow. Wow. That's not very like Askeladd, but I think he just wants to get this resolved, to be honest. Is that he genuinely felt bad for what he said? Thorfinn kind of looked down on Canute. Yeah. You had to feel really bad for him, though. He's born to a royal family, just hid to, to survive, and now he's placed in this position. He calls Canute the chick. Yeah, he, he's almost too protective of Canute. Oh, the chick, like, to leave the nest. I thought he meant, like, the chick, because, like, they, they thought Canute was a girl at first. The doy. This is my analytical prowess at work. Oh, so they're just all going to negotiate. I mean, as God's smooth, he'll, he'll be able to he'll worm his way out of this. Yes! Ah. His name is Asser. Then Maku Okorase Monona, Kona Shoko, 
俺はついてくぜ。うーん。うーん。That was an intense look from Bjorn. But... What was the secret? What? Wait, like he's royal blood? Mixed Danish and Welsh. Olaf conquered the coast of Wales. He said son of Olaf before. Bloodline of the war gods. Artorius. Okay, thank you. I was waiting for an explanation. Person the legend of King Arthur was based on in, in Asgard is his descendant? I was gonna say, does he have proof? Oh, wait. Is he bluffing too? No, there's no way both are bluffing. We know he's son of a. What? That was Ascalon? Damn! And we know they're not bluffing. That's why they showed that. Gosh, man, it's about the great bloodline. Dude. He actually would because of his relationship with him. Yeah, he genuinely means that. Now he has all the confidence in the world in him. Ah, actually, though. What does he have more loyalty to? You know what he fights for? He, do, he decides. Doesn't matter what his blood is. Should I understand why he hates the Danes? All right, well, they're passing. Dang, bro, I thought it was going to be all out war this episode. Because they trust him. He's led them through hell and back. Yes, sir! <laughs> well, almost all of them trust him. He is different. Conehead! <laughs> He's like, don't worry about it, Ragnar. Oh, wait, hang on. I feel like Thorfinn keep being the one to keep his weapon is going to make an actual difference. Either that or it was for Ragnar to find out about Thorfinn's identity and like, not identity, but his relationship with Askeladd. They might get jumped. I heard they eat humans, all the rumors about them. Uh, look at them like animals. Dude, look at me today. I'm on top of things. I'm very intrigued by Canute. Princess? Yeah, actually, though, it looks like he wants to say something. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 well, finally, come out of your show, Canute. Ragnar has never seen this before. <laughs> oh, just the fact that he's talking, that's why he's so shocked. Thorfinn's the one person that's got him to open up because he's the only person to talk down to Canute, despite him being royalty. Oh, uh, there's a treaty with the agreement, I guess. Man, it feels like there's so much weight to everything. It's crazy. And just like I said, just knowing Thorkel is just behind them at a, a slower pace. I don't know if he can even get through Wales now. I don't know how Thorkel even progresses at this point. Winter. <gasps> it's here. Where are they going to settle down for? Well, I guess they can settle down for the winter. They have the prince. They need to get him back. America? Oh. Oh, yeah, you die in the mountains. So now we're gonna have the anticipation of possibly running into enemy troops. He'd rather have a chance to fight people than just die in the mountains frozen. Interesting. His identity. It's a big deal. Dude, they just fly by. Like, uh, it feels like it just started. It's insane. Okay, so a bombshell in this one with Ascot's sort of identity being revealed. And it kind of teased Arthur in, uh, in episode 12. I don't remember exactly how, but it probably makes it way, make way more sense correlating now. But I think the main takeaway from this one too is how little Bjorn knows about Ascot and how big of a deal that is. Considering like how, like he said, how long he's been with him and how he is sort of his right-hand man. Like, 
that's how much Asgard keeps to his chest, how little he reveals to even the closest to him. And now that we're getting through whales, we have this sort of next sort of outline set up. And Canute kind of coming out of his shell a little bit more, like I said. I think he's going to play more and more of a prominent role and is going to develop into more of a new, unique character by the time we either get into a really bad position and he has to fight for himself or by the time we get him back to King Swain. One of the two is going to happen. And I'm pretty sure the, the former is much more likely because I, what would Vinland Saga be without combat and just, you know, issues in general arising? The odds of running into enemy troops are very, 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 very high. That's why they were not going through the mountains. And I think it's going to be a lot tougher than Asgard is anticipating. There's only one way to find out. Guys, thank you for joining me on this one. Drop a sub if you're new and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.